All right, this is a 2015 Land Rover Range Rover Sport V6 supercharged. Now, why do I have this on? Well, I can't believe I actually bought this car. Um, typically, I do not buy Range Rovers. I've had a Range Rover before, and that was a little bit of a nightmare. Um, so, I can't, I can't show my face just yet. But what I thought I'd do is, these Range Rovers, as beautiful as they look, I really, I really consider these uh, the Range Rover Sports, you have the SC, HSC, Autobiography, SVR, those are beautiful machines, the Bilar, the newer ones, these are great, great looking vehicles. But unfortunately, they're not really very reliable. Now this one here, this 2015, is actually a fairly reliable vehicle based on Edmunds, Consumer Reports, well, it has a good reliability review. But typically they do not. Now I'm dipping my toe into this car and I'm not sure what it's gonna what's gonna happen. This car has 104,000 miles on it. Typically that's not a good idea to buy a Range Rover with high miles. Um, if you know anything about these cars, typically when you're trying to get a warranty, the cost for a warranty is really, really high. So let me take this mask off. Uh, the cost is really, really high for these warranties because uh, the companies know that they're, they're unfortunately going to get used. So with that, it almost makes not having this car almost makes it, um, it really, it really uh, um, changes your mind about wanting to buy one. Now this one I've had for eh, probably about three weeks. Now I actually traded it in on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Or actually, I, I traded my Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT for this car. I really, really love my SRT. This was a great, great vehicle. I had it for about a year, and um, you know, uh, unfortunately, the engine well went bad. So I traded it in, and I got this. So hopefully, I didn't trade a bad engine for a bad experience with this Range Rover. So let's take a peek inside. Cause I've gone around it a little bit. Now, unfortunately, this model, it does not have heated seats. So, doggone. Why did I get this car without heated seats? Pretty stupid. But especially when you're in a really cold climate. Midwest, you really got to have a heated seat. Well, I don't have one. So... What I did was, I actually bought this heated seat gun on Amazon. It's actually a very nice seat. It's a massage seat. It's actually better than what you'd get in a heated seat. Um, you can see the controls there. It's actually pretty good. But it does not have the heated seats, nor does it have the heated steering wheel. And when we got doused with a bunch of snow, man, I was paying the price. Now, I do have two other vehicles. I have a Mercedes GL 550. And I have a Charger Scat Pack. And, uh, and that thing is fully loaded. It's got the tech package. That's a great car. Um, again, this is a great riding car. It's really, really clean. Let's take a look inside. The interior is really good. It's in great shape. Have a lot of stuff in the back, so can't really go through all that. Show you that piece. But it's actually, uh, the interior is in excellent condition. Everything works really, really well um, so far. Um, now, the thing you always worry about is the check engine light. Um, <laughs> as you know, it's going to go out at some, at some point. Um, this, unfortunately, has gone off. Um, and apparently it's a modulator, so I'm taking that in to deal with that. What I thought I'd do is, because Range Rovers usually have a very bad experience, what I thought would be a good idea is maybe kind of give all of you kind of a what happens uh, with this Range Rover experience with me. And, uh, and I'll share with you all the expenses, any issues that I come up with. And, you know, maybe it'll help anyone who's looking at this video. Um, I hope it'll help make maybe uh, help someone make a decision if they're considering buying 
this type of Range Rover, maybe even this Range Rover may be up for sale, but um, just again, this car has 104,000 miles on it, high miles, but it is in excellent condition. Now, one thing I've already done to it is I actually had a carbon fiber right here where the uh, climate uh, controls there, radio controls, and then you have the carbon fiber down there. I will be adding carbon fiber here, here, you know, along the, uh, the, uh, where the uh, lock and unlock controls are, and then down here near, uh, there's a little, little bracket that will go here that will be right here, that will be, or, sorry, right here, that will be uh, carbon fiber, and then also in the back. So, I'm going to do some things to enhance this car. These are aftermarket wheels. Um, typically I'll try to stay steer clear of aftermarket wheels I like to try to stay with the OEM but these are actually pretty good looking wheels um, the tire size this is a 2 oh, what was it 245 245.55 I believe and uh, so it's not as wide as I would like um, I plan on putting a 275 55 on this uh, make the tires a little bit wider got to make sure that the load weight is about 110 so uh, But a couple things I don't like about this car as I mentioned the heated seats uh, Wish I had that heated steering wheel wish I had that um, You know probably uh, I've got the nice panoramic sunroof, but I have no sunroof Not sure why I did that either. But anyway, no sunroof. So, um, but it's really great though in terms of how you're able to see. It's a long piece of glass. You can see that long piece you can see when it retracts back. It's actually a really, really good, nice looking view, especially at night. So it's very nice even though it doesn't open up. It's actually pretty nice. Now, in terms of um, something that I don't like, on this one is if someone put an aftermarket hitch this looks like a u-haul hitch that instead of typically it was going to be under that piece there the hitch will be you add the land rover hitch and you put it there this individual who had it nothing against them but it really does take away from the vehicle um, so i'm actually going to take that off so i'm going to remove that hitch and uh I'm not going to throw it away, obviously, but I will remove it. Um, because it does think, again, it does take away from the vehicle. Uh, I'm, really, I'm probably going to take and put a clear, probably really do buff up this paint, really get it to shine a little bit more. And again, the key thing with these vehicles is to make sure they run. This one sounds good. I've already had it checked in, looked into. Uh, they looked at the engine, transmission. Um, Everything looks good. The battery was need to be replaced, so I did that already. Um, tires, I've already ordered the tires, so those will be coming. Um, but the main thing is to make sure that this thing is not sitting in a shop. Again, I already have the check engine light that's already kind of popped on. So that's the difficulty with it. Now, the satellite radio, the navigation, um, those things work really well so far. Um, it doesn't have Apple CarPlay. That's a great feature to have. I love Apple CarPlay. My Charger has the Apple CarPlay. My Mercedes has the Apple CarPlay. But this one does not. Uh, 215, I believe, 2016 and newer came with the car, the Apple CarPlay feature. Uh, I believe there's an Android uh, version that you can get, Android device, um, that will allow you to um, be able to maybe add Waze or uh, Google Maps or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. If someone knows about that, that would be great if someone uh, maybe leave a comment below. That would be great. At any rate, um, but I will kind of track my experience with this car. Also with my charger as well. The charger, like I said, is a 2017. It's only got 16,000, 17,000 miles on it. Uh, drives great. Uh, engine sounds awesome. The uh, interior is in great shape. It's a tech package. Uh, it's got the Hellcat. I believe it's a Hellcat wheels. 
um, on there. It's got a, a six piston Brembo's on it. And it's a, it's a great driving vehicle. So I'll, I'll be uploading that one um, in a day or so. But for now, we turn back to the Range Rover. So uh, I will uh, leave some feedback on, or feedback, I'm sorry, I will leave, I will upload, uh, um, not upload, I'm gonna upload the video. Eh, hopefully I can edit this stuff out. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna be, uh, you know, kind of uh, vlogging my experience with this vehicle. Um, and again, if it helps someone to decide whether or not they wanna buy a Range Rover or not buy a Range Rover, um, that's really my, my goal. Um, you know, I've watched these videos and uh, it's really helpful. Um, the people do a great job with these videos. Sadly, <laughs> I really don't. But, um, but I'm kind of learning as we go here. Uh, different people I've looked at. Stradman, um, Auto Vlog, I believe. Guy does some great stuff. Stradman, obviously, he's got a lot of supercars, European cars. Uh, he does a fantastic job. Um, I've seen Tall, car, tall Guy Car Reviews. Uh, he does a very good job. He makes it fun. Um, it, it, uh, interesting. There's a bunch of other different guys that are on there. You know, um, I think everyone does a really good job. They have fun with it, and that's really what it's all about. In this experience, I just want to be able to help other people make a decision. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to monetize anything. I'm just trying to maybe help someone make a better decision. Because truthfully, these videos from the people I mentioned, you know, has helped me. I would have never, ever in my life thought about getting a Dodge anything um, and uh, I did like that Jeep I know it's a Mopar family but I did like the uh, love the Jeep SRT that was a beautiful wonderful car um, I just got rid of my Porsche Panamera that was my favorite car probably of all time but uh, <clears throat> never thought I'd get a Range Rover so uh, never thought I'd get a, a Charger that's for sure um, and but when I took that thing for a test drive, I only did that because I think I saw the guy, uh, Mr. Organic. He has a charger, uh, really nice uh, charger. Uh, I think he does a great job with his video. And Tall Guy, uh, Tall Guy Car Reviews. I know he does a lot of Dodge vehicles. I think Destroyer, Destroyer Gray, I believe, also um, does a lot with uh, videos and other people as well. Um, so that made me look into that vehicle, which I would have never done before. So shout out to those guys, uh, because without that, I'm, I'm sure that I would have never bought that charger. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'll, I'll be updating you with making sure that the check engine light comes off. And as uh, I change out wheels and I do a lot of different things to upgrade this vehicle, I will uh, keep all of you who are even interested, uh, updated on what I do. So anyway, all of you, this is uh, Executive Black. I'm in this strange uh, mask because I still, as I mentioned earlier, I can't believe I actually bought that Range Rover because typically that's a car that I love to look at and I love to see other people suffering. In fact, when I see people drive this car, I would say, you know, I wonder how long it's going to be before they take their car to the shop. I wonder how many times that check engine light has gone off. So I'm hoping that this will be a really good experience and I'm hoping that uh, it'll work out great for me and hopefully I'll be able to help um, any of you that are watching this video. The plan here I think is to have this vehicle for maybe six months. Um, I, if I like it well enough, if it doesn't give me a lot of hassles, um, I may upgrade to uh, an SVR because um, I really got to have some speed coming out of that SRT and also I enjoy that scat pack. Great, great vehicle. So without further ado, I'm going to end this video. Uh, thanks for anyone who watches it. All of you be safe out there. Enjoy your cars. Uh, no matter what you have, it doesn't matter what you have or, or how much you spend, you know, what, how much money you have. Just enjoy the vehicle you have. Mod it out, trick it out, but just enjoy it. Make sure if you're gonna spend money on these cars, whether it be this, make sure you look into it. Make sure you check every little option out. Don't be an idiot like me, which I never make a mistake like that. And not even make sure this thing has a heated steering wheel or heated seats. 
for crying out loud, don't be an idiot like me. So hopefully this will help any of you out there uh, to not make the same mistake that I did. So it's me signing out. Good, have a great day.